Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I work here at the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History. Thank you for joining us today for a short tidbit of our Discovery Lab online program where I'm going to be highlighting one of my favorite craft slash experiments that we do here at the museum and we are going to be doing paper marbling. You do need some supplies for this activity and I'm pretty sure you could find what you need around your house. So first thing, paper marbling, you need to shaving cream, regular old shaving cream. So if you've got a can of that lying around, go grab some. And also food coloring. If you have food coloring at home in your pantry, grab a couple of your favorite colors. Today I am using red, blue, and yellow. And you also need a paint scraper. If you don't have a paint scraper, you can use popsicle sticks or just anything that is kind of a little bit oversized that has a nice flat edge to it, well, you'll be good to go. I'm also going to be using uh, craft sticks or popsicle sticks or possibly a toothpick to um, mix some of the food coloring into my shaving cream. And also I'm using a tray because a clean surface will definitely uh, help you out here for this project. That can get a little bit messy. And if you want, depending on how messy you might get, gloves are a good option, but I'm going to go a little bit crazy and not wear gloves today. But we are going to be doing a nice colorful project, so let's get ready. So I'm taking my shaving cream here, and I'm going to just do a layer right here on my tray. All right, so I've got a nice layer of shaving cream here on my tray. Actually, I'm going to zoom in and get a nice little bit closer view of what's going on. So you see my layer here, and I'm going to take my food coloring, and I'm just going to drip drop some colors across the top. Now, I would say, please be very careful with this food coloring, or if you have a grown-up nearby, if they could help you, that might be a great time to call them over and ask for help. Because we also don't want to stain anything because this might be very tough to get out of clothes or furniture. Also, here we're going to go with some yellow. Nice fun colors. All right, so now I've got quite a fun layer of shaving cream with colors here on my tray. You all see my dots right there? So that's what it looks like right now. So now I'm going to take one of my craft sticks. They're nice and colorful from my previous projects because we like to reuse our supplies here at the museum. And I'm just going to now swirl my colors all through the shaving cream. So this could be really fun. So take any kind of tool like the toothpick or the craft stick, whatever you have on hand, and make nice, fun, swirly colors. You can do as much or as little as you want. And notice what colors that you've picked how they mix, and if they make a new color, such as if you took maybe red and blue as I did, maybe you'll see some purple. Or if you do blue and yellow, you might see some green. All right, so now I've got my strips of paper here. I don't know if I mentioned that you need paper earlier in the activity, but you definitely need paper. Printer paper works great, or cardstock would be awesome. So I've got a design here. It's got a nice little museum logo here on a bookmark strip. I'm going to take my bookmark strip, design side down, and smush it all in my shaving cream. And now I'm going to gently lift it up. And this is what it's going to look like. I've got shaving cream and all my colors attached to it, but I'm going to lay it down here in my tray. I'm going to take my paint scraper, and I'm going to hold my uh, the paper down on the corner just with my finger. And I'm going to scrape away the excess shaving cream, just like that. Here, and then I'm just going to dump it there on the side of my tray and just double check. I got the most of it done in one good swipe, but just double check right there. And I instantly have a paper marbled design bookmark. Isn't that so pretty? Now this is why this is one of my favorite activities. We get a beautiful pattern with lots of different colors. You can do them any kind of theme, any kind of your favorite color, and it's so great to do it your, your individual style, your individual taste, and you get a really cool bookmark at the end of it. I love to read, so I know I use these at home all the time. So that is our quick and simple paper marbling activity. I hope you guys do this at home, and if you do, Share it online, maybe on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, and make sure to tag us so we can see it. We are at, at 
FWMSH on Twitter and Instagram, and at the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History on Facebook. We'd love to interact with you and sh uh, if you could show us what you're doing at home. All right, thanks for joining us and hopefully we see you here soon. Bye.